Okay, we're recording. I mean, I can edit it, so. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Chris. This is my live studio audience slash wife, Heather. Slash wife. <laughs> um, we're going to be starting out um, a new kind of skyblock today. Um, Ta-da! So we're calling this skyblock Grassroots. And the reason being, this is a more restricted version of Skyblock. So you get grass, and you get a tree. And that's what you start with. So I think 2012 was when the original Skyblock map came out. And you had the same stuff, but you also had, like, water and lava, and some of the basic plants in the game. Like, I think you started with cactus and sugarcane, or at least... If not, there were early variants of the map that had that stuff. I'm in shape here, which is like three, three by three by three cubes all glued together. Is kind of like one of the iconic skyblock shapes. There goes our tree, and we're gonna work as fast as possible. So I'm putting um, the tree saplings down already, just so they can start aging or ticking or whatever they need to grow, and we can get more saplings ASAP. And this is a good start because we got three saplings from the first tree. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, there's like a, I don't know, less than 10% chance that you can get no saplings from the first tree. And then you gotta start. Yeah, or just be like <laughs> super hardcore and like, no, we're just playing with dirt, man. Oh my god. Can Which, you even play with dirt? I've, okay, so this raises another question is like, you know, why not just do dirt and trees or just grass and no trees? And, like, there's a bunch of different challenging variants. Um, I've played with just dirt, I've played with just dirt in a tree, and I've played with just grass, and you can get other items, but it's, it's hard. So, I, we're playing this way because, just from all my screwing around, I found that this is, like, the most challenging you can make it, that's, oh, dang it, lost oh, our first dirt. Um, this is the most challenging you can make it, oh sweet, and... I was leaving these guys to make sure we got grass on this lower layer, because we don't want to lose the grass. If you time it just right, you can break a dirt on the second layer, and like move into where it was so that you don't lose it. Shucks, man. I've played this like ten times without losing a dirt on this first time. And you lost yeah. one now. <laughs> Alright, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get ready to farm spiders during the night, and like... There's a technical point here, which is the where I'm standing right now mm. is the world spawn point. Okay. Which means mob spawning is prevented within 24 blocks of that, so we've got to move 24 blocks away if we want any enemies to appear. Okay. Three, four, three. Okay. <laughs> and then 24. I'm putting the 24 block up one, and... Yeah, we don't get any of that stuff. We can get water later on. Lava, I still haven't figured out a way to get. Um, and that's actually going to be the big challenge, is because you can't make stone tools. You can't make a furnace. We are going to be able to get charcoal later on, but not actually through smelting. It's going to be through trading with the villagers that we make. Okay, put that down. And then we're just going to make some axes for taking out spiders and also for chopping the trees down faster once they appear. And now our goal is to make, like, a safe platform for spiders to appear on, which we can't die on easily. This thing looks like a pitchfork when it's all done. I think it was five. Yeah. I was screwing around with a three-wide idea, but I've had spiders sometimes jump off the sides and get around it when I made it three-wide. <laughs> so we got a pitchfork shape. And we're doing pitchfork shape just because... So normal enemies, you know, if like an enemy pops up right here, a second enemy can't pop up where it was. Spiders are different because they're so wide, but they actually prevent the spawning of, I think, like, the spiders on, like, the 25 blocks around them. Oh, okay. And so by spreading wow. out, like, the prongs here, we can kind of minimize... Spiders, spiders interfering with, yeah, <laughs> the loss of spider appearance. The loss of spider spawn. We're gonna need a row of blocks here to prevent the two high enemies from just, you know, like walking onto our platform. Yeah. 
And then we're going to need some blocks here. Put this down like that. And now I'm going to break it. There is a chance we lose this dirt. Nope, didn't lose it. And this one we might lose too. Did we? Nope. And this does two things. So this, these three blocks here, because spiders are too wide, they can't actually fit through here. But they just kind of get stuck here, and then we can stand like here safely and just kind of swat them and take them out. Um, and then it also acts as like a little ramp up to the top for us, okay. so we can get up. Can things like zombies or um, skeletons or creepers get through that? Mm. Most can't. There is one exception, and that's baby zombies can appear. And they're one block high, and they're super annoying because they move so fast and they're so small, so they're hard to hit. Mm -hmm. So I think, like, while I was practicing this, like, out of the whatever, I don't know, 10, 20 deaths I had, over half of them were from baby, baby zombies. zombies. Yeah. <laughs> I see. Okay. And then this shield here is just to keep spiders from somehow like jumping up and climbing over. Mm. So with that in, it's pretty much ready. So I'm just going to throw down all the extra blocks we have back here. Just try to get as many spawning blocks as we can before nightfall. Keep one dirt on us and that's going to essentially be like our doorway. Can the spiders still spawn on the half slabs? Mm -hmm. As long as they're on the upper half of a cube. Oh, okay. So any monster can spawn on a the upper half of a half slab? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, I thought it was, um, if it was a half slab, they just straight up couldn't spawn yeah. on if it. If it's on the lower half. Okay. And that's because the spawning algorithm for mobs only tries to place them on, like, right on top of a block. Mm -hmm. It never tries to place them halfway half down a block. block. Yeah. And okay. so it, it pretty much checks, like, is there a surface right beneath the enemy? Mm. And if there is, it's like, okay, we can throw them in the world. And if there's not, then it's like, well, even if there's a half slab right there, if there's no surface right underneath it, it won't okay. make them appear. Oh. Okay, so we got our first enemy. It's a zombie over there. Not really worth getting. Especially because if you hit them, they can sometimes make other zombies appear in this area. Not just on the floor on the spork. Um, and we didn't get any trees growing, so that's a bummer. Sometimes you can get multiple trees on the first day, and if you're really unlucky, you don't even get extra trees on the second day. Creepers are like the only useless ones for skyblock. So zombies actually give us a like a not that good but still usable food source. Skeletons give us bones, which we can make into bone meal and actually speed up the tree growth and get wheat and other like flowers and stuff mm -hmm. and spiders give us like string which gives us wool yeah. like which is useful right now gunpowder just has no use and that's all creepers drop like the rate that we get string from this like fork thing is like just barely faster for making a bed than the time the phantoms spawn out. Oh my gosh. So I'm just gonna go for it. So we gotta make sure the creeper can't see us and blow up right here. I don't think it can. Heck yes. Get Rick. We gotta make sure we don't accidentally punch the zombie off because that can happen. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. That's good. No. Come on, this way, bud. Yep, there you go. Wait, how did he, how did he hurt you? Um, they don't have to be right up against you. Oh. Just, you can imagine almost like a little bubble around them, oh, and if okay. you're just inside that bubble, they can touch you. Oh. If we get paper, we can make... A firework? Yeah. <laughs> a good point about the wandering trader, actually, which I'm going to talk about when it's daytime, so that the viewers don't have to listen to me talk about it while... <laughs> They're just staring at night with nothing <laughs> happening. It's so funny to watch the sunrise and skyblock. <laughs> yeah. Because it just makes a complete circle. 
Yeah, <laughs> I didn't make. I didn't look down, but like it's literally just down yeah. there at night. Yeah, like it doesn't vanish. Same with the moon. We'll be able. I think. Are we gonna watch it? I think you can just see the moon like down there too. Oh, really? Yeah. That's... Um, I've seen three other kind of like challenging sky blocks series on YouTube. Um, one is Il Mango, where he and his friends did something super similar. I think it was like his Patreons or some subscribers or something. They made a server sky block that was like super restricted like this, where you just start out with like a tree and dirt. Mm. But they had one major modification that's going to make their play th did actually two things that make their playthrough a lot different from ours which is one the biomes of the world were still in place so like they had a jungle over in one area and a snowy area over in another whereas if i open up our Whoa. like debug screen um shows yeah our biome is the plains biome right here and that's what it is everywhere so i don't think we can get snow or right. if we do it's going to be some weird like manipul manipulation way to get it um or foxes or like anything that's biome specific secondly is i think they modified their wandering trader so it, there was a chance it would actually trade lava yeah, and then you could mm -hmm. get stone and you could like make obsidian because you can multiply lava with dripstone and then yeah and then you could go into like you can go to the nether and <laughs> so it just funny. opens up a ton of possibilities and we're just going to kind of have a wall there that we might have to wait for a new version to come out before we break through i see and then there's um small ant who's doing a like normal you start with lava and stuff play through a skyblock but he's doing it like super technically where he's making as many crazy farms as he can oh, okay and then I found one person, and I'll link all of these in the description, but they were doing this, actually. Like, they had the same idea, they started a playthrough, and they got to where they were starting to make an iron farm, and then they just said, like, yeah, they, no, well, they, their life got busy, and they uh, couldn't keep playing, okay. so they made, like, two episodes out of what probably would have been, like, a 10, 20 episode series. I see. So we are, we are avenging the fallen Skyblock brethren. <laughs> Once we get trees. Once we get trees. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, why is grass important? Um, once we hit a skeleton, we can click on grass with bone meal, yeah. and it'll grow stuff for us. Like, it'll make... We can also get bone meal from a compost bucket, too. But it'll create flowers, which let us get beehives. Because if you grow a tree next to a flower, just, you can get, yeah, you can get yeah. a beehive sometimes. Yeah. Um... We can get a bunch of dyes, like, for colors. Yeah. And you can get seeds from the grass. Okay. And that's important for a couple reasons. One is just you can, like, plant it and bone meal it and get wheat. Yeah. Uh, secondly is you, uh, you can use it to breed chickens. lovely day we're having in skyblock world huh wife yeah i just need a little rocking chair <laughs> <laughs> i'm in a full up campfire chair just so just so all y'all watching know perfect rocking chair yeah like, I guess You're on I'm... a mini fridge, so you could rock that. I'm not gonna rock mm. a mini fridge. <laughs> <laughs> there aren't even like clouds to watch pass by. Yeah, there are. Look at those. I Look, that really... one. That one's a fish. <laughs> you see it? Then no. that one's Tetris. <laughs> I was like, but it does kind of look like that little amulet from um, the first, second, and third Star Wars that Anakin carves. Which, Padme. really? Where? Like... Oh, uh, this thing? Yeah. Because it's got the the cross. It crosses. Okay. And it's, like, super abstract, but that's the only thing I thought of. Abstract Padme love art. <laughs> so do we have any trees or what? No. <laughs> 
gosh. And look, the, the sun is coming back up from under the world. Ah, uh, yes. Goodbye. No, the moon is coming back up. Yeah. The sun, the sun is, going is going down. Because that's how night <laughs> <laughs> works. Mm. 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 There's the sun. Ah, yes. The sun under the world. Night sun. Alright, so then, do we get a tree? Oh, we got two two creepers! Oh, wow. shoot! It's, uh... It's a party here. It's a good day. Land of plenty. Okay, this is the tough part. Okay. Because we can't... Oh, can I hit them like this? Yeah, oh, there we go. I can hit them. Goodbye! <laughs> <gasps> the first tree! <laughs> go, go, go! <laughs> we both audibly gasp. <laughs> Great, we got three from this guy already. Uh -huh. What the heck? Okay, so now we got this, and then what we'll do is just put that there so there's just. They don't like fall down. Oh, yeah. You need to make the, the fifth prong. Mm hmm. Oh, it's not really a fork anymore. Now it's like it's a spatula. Like a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you can eat. How do you make that into a pun about enemies? Two blocks out is enough, because most trees only put out leaves two blocks away from their trunk. All right, there we go. We got a bone, and we got a bow and an oh. arrow, so we can actually shoot now. That's awesome. Okay, let's get out of here. Uh -huh. meal. Get some flowers. Hopefully, we can get no seeds yet. No seeds yet. There we go. Huh. Got seeds. Oh, hey. This will get us an achievement. So just go over here. To the ground. Boom. A seedy place. And then I think it's just going to pop up because it's not hydrated. But we got the advancement. <laughs> and I could bone meal it, but I think you need for sure at least two, maybe three bone meal to uh. like grow it all the way to maturity. Kind of looks like a little skull and crossbones. Oh, I see it now. <laughs> or like a dragon flying at us and sticking oh, out his yeah. tongue and <laughs> standing on his tongue. Now it's time. Like a chest too. That way we have a place to put stuff. Or if we die, it's still there. Yeah. It's a good idea. Finish this. And then do like. Just here. Mm -hmm. Then composter. Cool. In fact, we can do what you suggested and start taking the dirt yeah. away. We're there, so let's see. Put that down and then. A pretty um, solid platform. Yeah, it is. There's something red over there. Oh, that's a spider. We got our first there spiders. Could be a spider, yeah. I think. Heck yes. All right, here we go. And now, now we get to see if this thing like works. Good. Oh, okay. But now we have to pick up what they drop without getting involved in that mess. Oh no. For whatever reason, enemies like to pathfind to completely solid blocks. Uh -huh. Okay, should we just like run and grab the string? Yeah. Oh no. Already? Already? What no. the heck? Okay, we got nothing to lose. Seriously. All right. Run. Bother, man. I gotta fight these guys. I'm not ready! <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> oh, gosh, hey, are there two? Uh, okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, stay close. Uh, just eyes? I think it's like 50. Oh, oh heck yes. Yeah. Two string? This area is gonna be like totally covered in trees soon. That's fun. Just one big solid tree block. 
That that does happen. Does it? Yeah, they'll really? they'll grow right next to each other. That's funny. <laughs> Hey, we got the full leaf block now. Oh, snap. Yeah, not the full leaf block. The, you know what I mean. Saplings are covering the footprint. Oh no, there's one spot. <gasps> Goodbye, Connor. Sorry, Connor. Actually, that wasn't Connor, this was Connor's offspring. Uh -huh. There we go. Three wheat. Got bread. Nice. Oh, we got a spider. Oh no, oh no, no, no. This is the worst part of the whole. Yeah. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Dang ah. it, we were close. And look, he's the little bugger is still here. Come on. I know, I'm trying. There we yes. go. More string, we're doing okay. great. <laughs> I'm like trying to get it without getting too close. And no phantoms yet this night. That brings us up to two wool blocks. Okay. We might get the bed. Tonight? Yes. Oh my god. Oh no, and the string's right there. Oh no no no. Oh no 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 no. That was so lucky. Did you happen to see what just happened? I know that a skeleton started. It shot a creeper. Oh, no, no. And then he just walked off, oh. so the creeper didn't have a chance to pop. Um, we might be able to get the spider away. Yep. Oh, no! Oh, ah. my gosh. We got the string. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got three, though. And here's the bummer. We can't leave this now. Because if we, I guess we could for like a split second, but stuff is going to appear. Gosh, that's such a bummer and we're just one short too. Dang. Oh, I think we lost some dirt too. Yeah. Uh, not that much because of, we thought yeah, ahead. Yeah, yeah. But... Like this. It's there, but it's far. Ah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's just try to take out the creepers that we can. Okay. Oh no, no, no. Huh? <laughs> Run! I know. Okay, okay. Got it. Yeah, yeah, we must be safe. They would have exploded by now if okay. there was a fight. There we go. And it's three. Good. Go achieved. <sighs> Boom. Sweet. Dang. Heck yes. Okay. <laughs> and we have obtained a bed. It's only taken it. Us... Quite a while. It looks like we got about three stacks of logs too. Oh, so okay. I think that's where we should call it for this episode because I am drained <laughs> I'm just staring at trees and, and dark trees and darkness <laughs> for two hours and yeah. next episode we'll come back and we'll start work on the first iron farm so great thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time bye